it is time garden of ban ban is back with the third chapter of the story i'm excited i hope you're excited i personally thought the second garden of ban ban was so much better than the first i'm hoping that we get an improvement like that on this third one if you haven't seen the first two make sure to go check them out the link to the playlist will be in the description down below oh here we go let's just dive right in disclaimer this game contains frightening imagery flashing lights and loud noises here we go garden of ban ban chapter three. Ooh. I don't remember this kangaroo person from last time. For a parent looking for their missing child, time is a delicate matter. Click the clock to advance time. Caution symbol up here. Table's missing. Darkness. Writing on the floor. Okay. Interesting. I still never know what that means at the beginning of any of these. So last time we were here, we uh, came down this elevator thing to go deeper into the garden, I guess. We also were introduced to tons and tons of new characters. Um, the most important being Ban Ban, I believe, from the last one, which is the red guy, you know, with the horns. Uh, he basically said that he could end up helping us eventually, but um, at the time we had to run away because we were being chased. See, we're in a big new spot now. The naughty ones say, finish your homework and be nice if you don't want to join us. Queen Bouncelia? <laughs> that's, a, that's a name, man. Jump as much as you like, but never to conclusions. Okay. Oh, Queen Bouncelia has the naughty ones inside her. I don't know about that one. I don't know if I want to meet uh, Queen Bouncelia. Okay, then we got an info kiosk. Glad to see you've made it. I don't know how you did it, but then again, you survived a giant elevator crash, so uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Also, again, I apologize for hitting you over the head. In fact, it is for this reason that I believe we should not meet face to face. You see, for whatever reason, I'm prone to violent instincts, and I do not trust myself to not give in to them again. I have locked myself inside of a surveillance room. That way I can help without being a danger to you. We are currently on the lowest floor to remain active before everything went awry. There are many floors below us, but they've all remained closed and abandoned for quite some time now. So just make sure not to fall. As for your children, I don't know exactly where they're being kept, but I know someone who does. Head to the aquatic sector. That's where he resides. I'm guessing he's talking about Stinger Flynn. Find two batteries for your remote. I already know where one of them is. Yeah, so interesting. So we cannot see Ban Ban anymore or else he might get violent. Okay, there's one battery. I always knew I was an unlucky person, but this is a new standard. I leave a bustling floor for the washroom and when I return, everyone's gone without a trace, which would have been peaceful if it wasn't for the giant bird walking around. I doubt I can keep this quiet for much longer. My breaths are getting very heavy. What's the bird doing outside of its containment anyway? I thought they were showing off only the short purple creature because we were behind on schedule. This is not how I imagined my end would be. It's gotta be talking about uh, Opila bird, right? Okay, that looks like the room from the opening scene. I guess we'll get access to that eventually. Oh, or maybe right now. Oh no, I need a second battery first. I am not liking this. This is like, what kind of facility is this, man? It looks like we're just in the void. We're in the ground sector, but there's the progressive sector, the medical sector, and the aquatic sector. Ooh, another place where we could watch tapes if we find any. All right, boom. And go. Let's go, drone. You got this. Are you for real right now? Thank you. Perfect. Open sesame. It just hit me that you need the key card to operate the cable car. Shouldn't be too hard to find one. Literally everyone had a copy. It's how you'd get from station to station. Okay, so we got to find a key card so that we could operate that. Gotcha. Okay, so we definitely got some new characters in the roster. I feel like every time we play, they add new characters, which, listen, I don't blame them for. Nabnalina. And then Nabnab. 
So a lot of people pointed out to me, I didn't even realize this. Nab Nab is Ban Ban backwards. Nabalina is basically just a ripoff of Bambolina. So it makes sense. Okay, I could pick up these crayons. Oh no, I hope I don't have to color anything. I'm colorblind, man. Oh, crayons go here. Oh, there's a key card right here, bruh. And a note. Dear mommy, the nice jellyfish is very strong. He carried everyone to here. But Miss Mason hates him, and I don't know why. Who the hell is Miss Mason? Alright, floor three key card. A cleaner has been dispatched. Please wait for result. Interesting. Oddity detected. Remove oddity to receive payment and punch out. Oh, I see. So that machine scans if the ground is clean. Which it's not because I keep le leaving crayons everywhere. I think we're good now. I'm gonna call it again. Nice. Alright, all done. What well, is it? Pick up your reward at the key card dispenser. Oh, nice. All right, so we got another floor three key card. And my friend Nab Nab is back. Yay. What's, what's good, bro? How you doing? How you been since the last game? I haven't seen you in like uh, two months, three months, something like that. You been good? All right, or don't talk to me, whatever. I wonder if... Uh, Nab Nabalina is also creepy like that. All right, to the aquatic center. Right? Oh. Interesting. So I actually control this whole thing. Oh, wow. I actually had no problem getting over here. That works. Oh, this is the progressive sector. Not sure if this is where I want to be. Uh, maybe this way? Uh... This is the medical sector. We got a note here. Case type 2, update number 6, alias the devil. K6's rebellious behavior remained unchanged even after the introduction to K7, and so alternative methods were approved by management to encourage cooperation. One such method was the introduction of a newly modified Gavanium solution engineered to lower the functions of self-thinking in any cases, case 2 of type 5, which is responsible for one brain's functions. This newly modified Gavanium solution will never be applied again, and all excess material will be locked away. Under heavy sedation, the new solution was applied to Case's system. Shortly after, Case 6 appeared to experience excruciating stomach pain that was so aching it felt on its knees while holding its stomach before undergoing significant physical changes. It appears the solution was so effective at limiting self-thinking that Case 6 fell victim to the primitive instincts we are so badly trying to avoid. Case is not ready for presentation. I'm guessing that's talking about Ban Ban, because he was saying that, you know, sometimes he falls to his instincts, which make him angry. I also am excited because this uh, game looks to be as long as the previous one. All right, and we are finally at the aquatic sector. Yellow glass is a breakable material. That's right. I forgot about that. Thank you, game, for reminding me. Okay, so it's not just Stinger Flynn here. We also have Nab Nab and Nabalina. And this frog dude, which I forgot his name. Sheriff or something? Nab Nalina says, there's a right to somebody for everybody. You just need to look. Whatever you say, I guess. Oh, I did not expect that to work. I did not think I had that key card. All right, more Gavanium here. Locked, locked, drone. You have no audio discs to play. Okay, so I need audio discs now. Case number 13. Chrysara Quint... I'm not going to lie. I can't pronounce that second word. Human Gavanium. Case Type 2, update number 1, alias the Jellyfish. Case 13 has finally started showing signs of body and brain activity, which means actual testing will be possible soon. 
Dormancy for two to three weeks has been observed in all prior cases when GV and the genomes are first mixed and placed into a body. Case 13 is an abnormality in this aspect. Case 13's body has been only been in the expected dormant state for a single day, and the neuroactivity has already been observed. This is new. A proposed theory is the phenomenon being the direct result of the modifications applied to the Gavanium solution being used after the testing with Case 12G, which would allow for maximum learning speed. Case is not ready for presentation. Of course, there's a QR code, so I'm going to scan it. And it brings me to a page with what looks like slow sea lion just kind of being all creepy there. But I don't see any information on this page. Oh, there's a number. It says two. Interesting. Boom. Go there. Thank you. Now I could jump in here. Get another key card. Awesome. All right. Will this let me access Stinger Flynn's place? It does. Open sesame. Oh, whoa. Bro has to be huge because his door is huge. I'm coming, Stinger Flynn. You better give me my kids back or my kid. I actually don't know how many of them there are. Okay, I knew he was big, but not this big. Whoa. He's actually massive. I don't know if I want to touch his tentacles. I don't know if I want to go under him either. Uh, oh, okay. I cannot go around. Looks like I'm going under him. Better than going in him, I guess. Please don't like, I don't know, do something weird to me. Okay, that, I, that scared me for a second. Oh, he's sleeping. Bro, I need you to wake up. I need to know where my kids are. His face looks like damaged, right? Doesn't it look like bloody? Communication kiosk. Wake up. Please. Good morning. Please be friendly. You've had a rough day. I can tell. You diligently wait for the moment you leave this wretched place with your child in hand. I can also tell. Not to undermine your effort, but I fear that moment may never come. What? I cannot let it happen. And I will gladly show you why, but after I do, you take my advice. Leave this place while you still can. Erase it from your memory. Move on and forget any of this ever happened. And I promise you, tomorrow will be a better day. Hey, yo, watch what you're doing with those tentacles, buddy. Oh. All right. Does he have powers? Oh, no way he made me high. What in the dream realm? He's back. Oh, the basketball's from the last one. Hey, that's a cool reference. All right, let's go look at some of the other chairs before we walk up to Stinger Flynn. Nice, we got the watering cans and the bowling pins. Welcome to my home. Or at least, what was supposed to be. Down in the dark and cold depths of the facility. The circumstances force you to do things that are out of your nature. When I feel that I'm straying too far off my original course, I head to the room I found me meditating in to mentally regroup. I come to this place, and then I am reminded that what I'm fighting for is worth all of this pain and suffering. Of course, none of this is real, but it all could be. I have never had actual sun rays touch my skin. Aww. Can you imagine that? Well, you are an underwater creature, right? A year for the day that they finally do. I need the children to achieve that. But do not worry. I will practice the safest of procedures. Whatever I decide to do with the adults, I will make sure to keep one alive and sane so that the surviving children are delivered to the surface safe and sound. And of course, to deliver me to where I choose to be. Oh, to 
lived a simple life with a completely brainless jellyfish, just munching on shrimp and avoiding getting eaten by turtles all day. You never appreciate how calming it is to have no conscience until you have one. I admire your courage, so I am giving you the chance to walk away. Take it. That way you won't lose both your life and the chance to see your child. So he's telling me that my kids are going to be okay no matter what, but I should walk away because I might die anyway? If I continue? Might not just help each other now. No liver, no intestines. Whoa! Most importantly, no pancreas. You, sir, need to have more organs. What am I supposed to eat when there's nothing to eat? Guess I'm going to have to look elsewhere. What? Um... I am now playing as Stinger Flynn. Wait, so was Ban Ban talking to Stinger Flynn or me just now? I feel like that was directed at me, but... Okay, the door is locked. Do I have to play the game to get out? Oh, there's the key card. Let's go back up here. This is kind of cool. This is interesting. I did not expect to be playing as one of them. Or is this still a part of like the mental trip? Yeah, I'm probably going to skip this mini game in editing just because you guys have seen this in the last chapter. Okay, mini game beaten. Okay, boom. Now the front door to the hallway should be open. Yep, it is. Oh, Jesus! You are not one of them. You are not one. You need to hide. They are coming. What? You're helping me? I'm so confused right now. Okay, and now I just woke up in Sheriff Toadster's area. Which is cool, I guess. I don't necessarily have a problem with that. I'm just so confused on what just happened. So Stinger Flynn kind of put me in like a little trance to like talk to me and tell me stuff. Then I turned into Stinger Flynn, which I don't know if that was me just playing as him in the past or if that was me in his body just now. Like I'm so confused what that was. Oh, okay. I'm guessing we got to collect these buckets boss room. He's not bossy, but he's the boss. Another bucket. Oh, a note. Case update report. Case type two update number four. The devil. Case six remains in an unstable mental state, attacking anyone and anything that attempts to approach them and not responding to any instructions delivered through speakers. Despite being released from solitary, for much of the day, they choose to stay huddled in the corner of their own holding chamber, choosing to pace around the room while whispering to themselves insensibly. Words that were made out include but are not limited to Gvanium, Pancreas, Weaverly, and Youthman. Context to usage of these terms remains absent. A request to upper management has been submitted regarding usage of unorthodox methods of sedation, such as the application of a modified Gavanium solution and potentially the introduction of a companion. We await their response. Case is not ready for presentation. And that's how Bambolino was created, probably, because Ban Ban seems to have a lot of issues. Like, I just have so many questions. Okay, another bucket. Another bucket. What was the mission? 
Chef Toadster is catching criminals. Catch him 10 criminals to get your prize. Toadster's jail. The place all criminals tremble when they hear about. Uh, let's see, how many do I have? Five, six. Okay, I think I need four more. Press me to start round one. Round one of what? Follow the light trail and jump on the lights as they appear. Oh, look at you hiding over here. This guy too, I didn't see you before. All right, now I got all of them. Let's bring them back to the Toadster's Jail. There you go. The door opened. Now I got the key card. And here we go. All right, gotta follow the lights. What did I lose? I lost? Wait, what? Nice! And I got a witch's hat. Cool. By the way, if you don't remember, the hats and stuff are for the drones. Press me to start round two. Ah! What does that do for me? Oh. Oh, it opens up the exit door. Okay. So I'm never going to meet a uh, Sheriff Toadster? I was kind of interested to meet him. Although last time I didn't meet the uh, the jellyfish either, but I did this time. Still don't have an audio disc for that thing. Hmm. What happened to you is one of Stinger Flynn's tricks. He left for the progressive sector, but we have something more important to deal with right now. See Nab Nab's room? It's open now, which means he's inside. He's on the hunt, and it's too dangerous to do anything in this state. We have to deal with him. Luckily, I have a solution, but you won't like it. Head to the medical sector, and we'll talk there. Okay, I believe he did say head over to the medical sector, which should be this way. All right. Hello, medical sector. Open sesame. This has Bambolina written all over it. Kind of hope I'm wrong, though. Why is this door boarded up? And that door. And I definitely don't trust this door. Oh, maybe this door here? Ooh, lots of Gavanium. Nope. Can't go in there yet. Alright, into the sketchy darkness we go. Oh, Jesus! Oh my god. Oh. Is that... Nabalina? When Nab Nab escaped, it wasn't long before workers started to disappear. Of course, precautions and trading can only get you so far, so we had to think of a more permanent solution. Nabnalina was that solution. We had a theory that Nabna was as aggressive as he was due to his loneliness. We never got to prove his theory right, as the collapse happened during the surgery. That's where you come in. You'll be carrying out the final steps of said surgery. Givanium related procedures are very delicate. So I'm going to need you to pay very close attention to these instructions. The hard part is already done. All you need to do is mix the right concentrations and inject her with it about six times. The machine with the droplet symbols is where that's done. 
when it's time, the screen will light up with a symbol of the needed concentration. For simplicity, the concentrations have been represented by colors. Mix and achieve the right concentration, then collect it in the syringe and give it to Navnali. The machine with the colored pipes will occasionally shift to the wrong colors, and when that happens, use the given tongs to revert them all to their normal state of green. The buttons on the walls will also malfunction at times. When that happens, hit any ones that are lit with your drone. The excess gevanium that you can find in the room will deplete when anything malfunctions or when a concentration is needed to be delivered. The procedure stops if any of the four depletes completely, and what happens next is never good. Only the best of us perform gevanium procedures, but we don't have much of a choice. Good luck. This sounds like it's gonna suck. I didn't even understand everything that he said. Okay, this is gonna be rough, dude. So I need to inject these six concentrations into her while also hitting the drone buttons and then making sure these all align. All right, let's just try this and find out. How are you doing? Wow. That's horrifying. All right, let me not do that again. I want to let me start. Oh, Jesus. That scared me. Okay. Oh, there we go. I had to. That makes sense. I had to. I had to put a. Uh, Nebulina on the table. Now we start. Okay. Totally not stressful. Um, red, red. Okay, and then I just... Okay, I guess that was good. Or not good. Hey! Jesus. Okay. When I tell you this puzzle took me so long to figure it out and actually know how to do it, this is like attempt 50 that you're about to see. Oh my god, and that's it, I lost. Oh, no, I won? Oh, thank god. Oh, hey, hey, we're friendly, right? Aren't we chill? Oh my god, I don't even know how I did that. I'm pretty sure that was only five and not six, six uh, shots, but whatever. I'll take it, I'll take it. I hope that wasn't too hard. Shut up. Anyway. Grab the audio disc and head back to the aquatic sector and play it on the big speaker in the lounge. Time for a spider you. Alright, so now we're going to introduce them to each other, which should be interesting. Either they're going to fall in love or maybe one of them might kill the other. Either way, it should be entertaining to watch. Alright, let's play the audio track. Here goes nothing. Ooh, there's Nabalina. Where's Nab Nab? <gasps> it was tongue. Ah, 
They're hanging out together. How cute. At last, he's no longer miserable. I'm surprised they both weren't originally members of the mutants below. They certainly fit. This is what the hell? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what just happened? What were you? Where did Nab Nab go? What the hell? I can't. Oh. You have overstayed your welcome here. Um. I even made you an offer, but guess what? Accepting it is long overdue. Don't worry. I won't get rid of you or collect you just yet. I was never one to abide by waste. An old friend needs you a lot more than I do. They too are on a path to achieve peace of mind. I already have more than enough subjects to move forward with my aspiration and my ultimate mental refinement. You just take a little... No, 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 Run away from the tentacle, bro. Or... Or just get knocked out again, sure. <laughs> what the hell is hey, this? Hey you. You're finally awake. Hello, Ban Ban. Can't blame you for taking a nap. Feels like we've been in this car forever. And so, Ophelia's Singer, in the front. When are we arriving at this place called Beach? I believe we are lost. <laughs> oh. Nice. You had one job and you messed that up somehow. I am struggling to locate the being who asked for your opinion. Can you at least put some music on since we're gonna be out here for a while? That's what I'm talking about. Fila, what do you think about this? Nice. Awesome. Captain, what about you? Captain? Who's Captain? Oh, is that Captain? Okay, decent answer. Can you stop vocalizing for just one second so I can focus on the road? What do you mean, focus on the road? We've been going in circles for hours. Never trust a jellyfish, am I right, Opila? Nice. If your pathetic mouth utters another infuriating sentence, I will stuff your whole body in one of those stupid port- Dude, I feel like this- this whole game right now is like me uh, just on a trip. Okay, and I'm playing a Stinger Flynn again. If any of that section just now was muted, it's because the music that they played was copyright. Although I'm hoping it's not. But if it was muted, that is why. What is going on over here? Hey, yo, whose hand is that? Whoever's hand that was, they were really big. Ooh, a platform. Okay, nice. Oh no, now it's even faster? Oh my god. Go figure, that was the easiest one. Uh, 
Uh, that's the Gavanium symbol, I think. Uh, definitely, yep. I was definitely not wrong about that. Lots of Gavanium. Finally, you're waking up. Oh I no. Really bored, and that fellow over there isn't much of a talker. Plus, it's scary here. That big green guy keeps checking in on us. I think he believes we're some sort of dolls. We could use that to our advantage to try and escape. He cannot know that we're alive. Every time we move or change something in the room, let's make sure that it's back to the way it was before he checks in on us again. This way, we can inch our way towards escaping, all while he doesn't suspect a thing. In other words, from his point of view, the room must remain unchanged. When he's close, the lights change color, so run back to your chair when the lights change. I don't know where to start though, so you give it a try. Whoa, okay, so now we're with Bambolina. Uh, Nab Nab is dead over there. Um, I forgot that she got basically squashed by Jumbo Josh last time. like this lighting no the doors weren't left like that originally yeah i'm sorry my bad bambolina gg i guess here's how to speed run this section i have died too many times and i finally figured it out i think Boom. We come over here. Place a block here. Place a block here. Ready? Bang, 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 shabang. Grab that block. Drop down here. Grab our blocks again. Make sure to grab your blocks again. And then we out. We open this. And we place one here, here, and here. They're going to hop from these blocks to these. Boom. Grab this block. We out of here. Okay, make sure to drop down to the floor because you can't pick them up otherwise. Okay, don't hey, forget to close this. Me solve this equation. Then we erase this You're right. dumb Maybe Bambolina equation because she's a dummy head. And then you, then you just, then you just Quick, stop. Sit down. He's coming. Okay, everything should be normal and in place. I'm going to be pissed if it's not. I've done this way too many times right now. You guys have no idea how many attempts I cut out. Thank God. Okay, open. Hit that, hit that. No, okay. Hit that. Bang, hit that. Bang, hit that. How do I know if I hit it? Oh, that one I hit. Okay, I got that one. All right, bang. Did that. Oh wait, I hit that one already. It's the other one. Okay, come on, hit that one. Go, okay. Close. Okay, cool. Now we sit. Open this up again. Jump back in there. Okay, and then I think this is the last one, and then that door should open down there. Yep. And it's got a key card. Perfect. And training. Okay, awesome. The door opened. Come on, Bambolina. She's coming, right? Okay, yeah, she's coming. She's taking a little while, but she's coming. Let's go. Can I just follow you? Yeah, you seem to know where you're going. Cool. Happy that we're friends now and you're not chasing me to kill me. 
Yeah, what kind of uh, arm workouts you do? I'd really like to know. Your forearms are huge. But do you see the line on her back? I never noticed that till now. Ooh, secret tape. Oh, we're in here. Should I follow you or? I'm heading back to class and I expect you to be there before the fourth lesson starts. Trust me, you do not want to miss that one. Children are eagerly awaiting my return, so up I go. All right, I'll see you at the fourth lesson. Bye. Bye. Yeah, hell no, I ain't going to that shit. Are you kidding me after what she did to me last time in class? Yeah, no thank you. No thank you. I'm totally good off that. Peace out. Okay, I came back over here just because I want to watch the secret tape. And... Oh. Just looks like... A kid in the... Is that the Opila bird area? I think so. I don't know what that... If that's another kid or what that is on the floor. Hmm. Okay, so this door in the progressive sector does open now. Peel a bird. Who the hell is this? Tarda bird says, protect your loved ones. They'll love you back the same. Who the hell is Tarda bird? Does every character now have like a another counterpart? Oh, I see a baby bird in there. Hello. Oh, wait, I can open this door over here. Hello. How are you, my friend? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That was actually a trap. Okay. Okay, Opila. I got you. Opila is like my main enemy, man. In this entire series. Alright, hold on. Let's see what's in this room. Oh. You can see Opila hiding up there. Okay, I see, I see. Can't go up this side either. What does this say? How to tame a giant angry bird. Achieve high ground. Jump and land on subject's back. Three, interact mid-air. Hmm. Okay, so eventually, looks like I might tame Opila, I guess? Maybe? I'm definitely not falling for that trap again. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. All right, so we got some math puzzles over here. Uh, I think you've seen these puzzles on social media before. The egg is a certain number. The bird is a certain number. It seems like the egg is three because three of them is three. Uh, that bird is two. If we're going to take two plus two, then it's four. So that's four. That's two and that's one. Okay, so this is one. That's two. Four plus one is five. Four minus one is three. Then we got... This one is four. This bird is two. So two plus two is four. Two minus one is one. Two plus one is three. Nice. Open sesame. Mr. Kebab man. What the hell? Be yourself no matter the cost, unlike me. Aw. Mr. Kebab, man. Should not be moved without its costume. Alright, cool. I'm not gonna move it then. What's its costume? Okay, this is weird. Why there's so many doors? Okay, it looks like we're almost done. What is behind all these? Sound, button, arrow? I have no idea what this means. Whoa. Who is that? What? What is that? What is that? We have never seen anything like this. Okay, there's the drone. 
Go that way. Hit that button. Dude, what is going on? What is that thing? Did it hit the button? I don't know if it hit the button. I don't think it hit the button. Hit that. Okay, I got a rocket. Oh. Oh, I put the rocket on his tongue. Okay, I got it. I got it. Gotcha, gotcha. Come on, buddy. Hit me. Hit me again. Hit me again. Come on. I got the second rocket now. Boom. Enjoy that. Sure, it tastes delightful. Looks like we farted. Okay, get the rocket. Nice. Now we just got to get Tongue Man to hit me one more time, I think. I think third time should kill him. And let's see. Again? Oh. Oh, bye. Bye bye. Oh, damn. Okay. He was heavy. Jeez. Dude, I actually really like that boss. I did not expect that. Oh, those party hats can't be a good sign. Oh! Oh! So, that monster just now, the really big one with a big head, and whatever that is, were maybe the first mascots for the brand? Until they made those new ones? Like, the ones that we've been seeing? That's interesting. Alright, here we go. Kebab man. Enjoy these. We hate you or get bad, bad. Ah, <laughs> I get it. Three stones with one bird. All right, bro, you gotta, you gotta keep moving. We hate you or get bad, bad. Hand over your pancreas. Three stones with one bird. Behave or get banned. Hand over your pancreas. Hand over your pancreas. Hand over your pancreas. Three stones with one bird. Hand over your pancreas. This is so annoying. Behave or get banned. Three stones with one bird. Behave or get banned. Hand over your pancreas. You gonna drop down or come here you dope yeah I got you now buddy what you gonna do now oh oh no okay I'm running maybe no maybe not maybe not maybe not um 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 Oh, I did it. Oh, Opila. Oh, that's kind of cool. Wait, what are we looking at? Okay. Bird riding is in you. I'll give you that. What drives you forward so vigorously? I refuse to accept it as your protective parental instincts. Um, that, no, oh, that's... No. Someone has given you false hope. Promised you what you want when all along they had one thing on their mind. Pancreases. At first, I was confused by how everything was going perfectly in your favor. 
despite you never being here before. And then it hit me. Someone has to have been guiding you. Damn, so he captured Ban Ban? And as with most things, I was right. It did have help. Your friend here has helped me tremendously. Thanks to him, I bore witness to very vital information. What information, you ask? Well, when my turn comes, I will simply prevent myself from turning into what he turned into. <gasps> oh, hell nah. All right, pink light, he crosses first, I think. And I messed up already. Dude, why are you so far behind? Okay, he is huge now. Okay, you gotta catch up, bro. You gotta cross first. Oh my god, they look so goofy. Okay, he's gotta cross first again. Nice. I cross first now, I think. Yep. Oh, I cross first again. Such a weird system. Okay, slow down, slow down. Oh, nah, he's catching up. I see him running back there. Come on, Opila, come on. You gotta move faster. Come on, come on, we gotta only have a few doors left. Oh, is that it? Well, that's it. You can run away, but the smell of your pancreas will always draw me to you. <gasps> Jumbo Josh! Is he gonna help me? Oh, Peel, are you gonna come too? <laughs> oh, nah, Stinger Flynn. Stop it, you two. No! What was that bird's name? Agatha or something? Nah! Ooh, oh, Jesus Christ, you scared me. Where's Opila? Opila, are you coming too? Find the kingdom, find the sheriff. Do not let the jester find you. Who's the jester? All right, I guess you're with me from now on, buddy. Oh my god, dude. Did Ban Ban just die? Did Jumbo Josh kill Stinger Flint? What happened to your mom and dad? Uh, I don't know how that works. Wow. Thanks for playing Wishlist the sequel here. Garna Bam Bam 4, baby. All right. I genuinely enjoyed that. I enjoyed that. I think the beginning was a bit slow, but definitely towards the end, it picks up a lot. I like that we actually got to ride the birds and run away from Ban Ban. That whole thing with Jumbo Josh beating the crap out of Ban Ban and then also beating up Stinger Flynn was pretty sick. A lot of people criticize Garden of Ban Ban, the series, because, oh, the developers may not put that much effort into it, blah, 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 blah. Garden of Ban Ban 3 might have characters that aren't super detailed or a story that's not extremely complex, but I enjoy it for what it is. And as long as you guys also enjoy it too, which I know a lot of you do, I mean, you guys blew up the last video, then that's all that matters. So I'm going to keep playing the games. I think the developers are cool. 
I enjoyed the game. But feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Did you see anything that I missed? And also let me know any theories that you have about, you know, the story that's going on. It seems that we keep getting more and more revealed slowly over time. And I definitely liked that last creepy boss that we fought. I'm curious if we're going to fight the dude with the big head soon. And I feel like we're definitely going to see that like half split person in the next chapter. But if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a like on it. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to hit 200k before the end of the year. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.